Thank you, Mr. Chair. The image painted in the international community of Norway as a waving nation has more than one side. There are many thousands of Norwegians who would rather see Norway being known as a pioneer on animal welfare and not as a country clinging on to old enterprises resulting in animal suffering. I wish to briefly refer to a film we captured of a Norwegian whale hunt last month. The film shows an experienced whaler trying to hit and kill a whale under perfect weather conditions and failing to succeed. We have consulted with external veterinarians and based on the footage, the most likely scenario is that the whale was indeed struck and lost. The whaling vessel claims that the whale was not hit, but both scenarios illustrate the same main point. Whalers shooting a moving animal from a moving platform cannot reliably achieve an accurate lethal harpoon shot. The margins for error in commercial whaling are simply too high and so is the suffering inflicted. The Norwegian government refuses to collect welfare data requested by the IWC, but the most recent data from 2003 shows that 20% of whales may take several minutes or more to die. Last year, a poll showed that 50% of Norwegians find this unacceptable. In fact, more than a third of Norwegians agree that Norwegian whaling should be phased out due to welfare concerns. The Norwegian government's pro-whaling position fails to represent the growing animal welfare concerns amongst the Norwegian public. The Norwegian delegation at IWC represents mainly a small and declining whaling industry, which, according to the Minister of Fisheries herself, produces a niche product which only 1% of the Norwegian population eats on a regular basis. In the whaler's own words, both the interest in catching whales and in selling whale meat has decreased continuously the last years. What implications will deals like the one proposed at this IWC have for whales in Norwegian waters? Norwegian Society for Protection of Animals and Noah for Animal Rights are with growing concern witness that Northern Hemisphere whales are not given much attention in discussions. Despite the fragile nature of the whaling industry's economy, some Norwegian politicians talk about expanding and strengthening the whaling industry, the need to develop new products with possible governmental subsidies and how to expand markets and potentially take new species. A perceived stamp of approval from the IWC would create an ideal environment for this development to take place. Headlines in Norwegian news on Monday read, IWC may open for commercial whaling. Does the IWC want a stronger and bigger commercial whaling industry? If not, there are good reasons to be critical to any deal which could legitimize and reinvigorate this growth outdated and unnecessary practice. Thank you. Species Management Specialist.